Hi friends, today we have this module. Uh, this has been sent to us by someone. Uh, one of my sub subscriber had sent it to me. Uh, so we are going to make a review. I am making a review and also I will show you what is this. This is an old piece of equipment. Uh, but before going towards the video, first of all, you have to subscribe my channel if not yet and also press on bell icon so then you will get notifications on each upload and if you like this video please give a big thumbs up uh, so to i'm going towards the video uh, let us see what is this as you can see there is a little small sticker over here which is showing some barcode and uh, some number was there before but it is also torn out and it's old it's worn out also uh, so nothing we can see and also here it could be i'm suspecting here could be a sticker which was showing some detail but it is not there at the moment and i'm i have been received it same as it is uh, so what it is you see one wire one cable is going in uh, going out and one cable is over here uh, some way like this uh, so don't know what is this what kind of module maybe some power supply maybe some inverter maybe something else uh, we are going to open this and hopefully uh, it will be a repair video also uh, if it is bad so now i'm going to open this here is one screw only one phillips screw i removed it i'm going to open this these covers you can see i removed this cover from and this pcb uh, from this cover will come off some way like this and here if we will look at this uh, pcb uh, actually the people who are expert in the field of electronics they know very well but for the new people i'm uh, explaining each and everything so each and every detail i will explain uh, so then each and every person will learn we all will learn uh, so here is you can see this yellow transformer these yellow transformers are uh, normally located in somewhat power supplies and also in inverter circuits so either it's inverter either either it's a power supply uh, an inverter is also a power supply as you know but this one let us see what is this the other side of the pcb if we will see mm, we can see a barrier over here one circuit is over here and the other circuit is here uh, so there is a barrier in the middle and we can see a cut over here and also we can see uh, an optocoupler over here you can see here an optocoupler is located uh, which is normally in the power supplies so this is sort of power supply what what kind of power supply i don't know yet uh, what is the input and what is the output so let us see uh, first of all we have to see if this is if we consider this is as an input because here we can see the four diodes bridge rectifier and here we can see a mosfet as switch and also some big components these capacitors we can see capacitors are here also but these capacitors these are uh, if i will see these are of high voltage 10 microfarad and 400 volt so this is giving me enough information that of course this is input here is the fuse also i can see and here are some ntc and some metal oxide resistor mov i can see uh, so these components are showing that this is the input side of the power supply and the capacitor voltage which is 400 of course this is showing that this capacitor is uh, normally used for the smoothing the line the mains 220 volt as we have 220 volt mains over here so this is these two capacitors they are in parallel i will show you in a little moment that they are in parallel uh, so mm, these capacitors are acting as filter for 220 line so here you can see one capacitor is over here one cap the other capacitor is here here are small resistors we can see so this kind of you know uh, arrangement is normally in power supplies and this is the input so now we know that this is line is for 220 volt input and here is of course the output up to the barrier and here are some small voltage capacitors are located 3000 uf 10 volt the other one 680 microfarad and 10 volt so the 10 volt capacitor is telling us enough information that and then and this 10 volt capacitor you can see this is connected to the output terminal here is the output cable if we consider this as an output so this capacitor is connected to the output to the in the parallel of the output line uh, so this is showing that uh, this cap this power supply is under 10 volt 
means it will be it it would be some way possibly it could be 5 volt because 5 volt power supplies are very very much common they are used in chargers mobile phone chargers and some other char battery chargers they are normally used so if we consider this but first of all what is the proper way is we have to switch on this thing this thing and then we will have to um, measure the voltages over here i mean to say by my multimeter i have to check the dc voltage over here then i will see what kind of power supply this is and how much is the output so for the input here are the two cables you can see uh, these two cables we will connect to the power power lines power line i mean to say the mains so here my main is so i will connect this over here and now this at the moment it is not connected to the line so that's why i can touch it but later on while it will be connected to the line i will not touch over here here i can touch but here i will not touch because this is hot side so now i'm going to connect it to the mains so it's connected uh, let me check the dc voltage i'm selecting my multimeter to dc voltage and here i have to check the voltage So you can see in millivolts so this millivolt is showing nothing no voltage i cannot find any voltage over here uh, but if i will check voltage on these two capacitors which i just showed you before these two capacitors if i will check voltage over here i can get some high voltage like 300 or something you can see i am getting 292 volt uh, volts 292 volts DC over here on the capacitor it says that my connection is okay my power supply input side is okay the filter is okay the uh, rectifier is okay but something is happening so that's why this power supply is not getting on something maybe in primary side or something maybe in secondary side let me check so first I have to remove this from the power and now if I will check the voltage again if the voltage is staying I mean to say the same the capacitor is charged same way as it was I mean to say high voltage is present over here so it means that the power supply is bad but it is not as you can see some 8 volt I am experiencing over here which is reducing so this means that the power supply maybe the primary side will be good and it could be the secondary side the bad so let me check the secondary side so for the secondary side the power should be off as it is at the moment it is off i'm going to select my multimeter continuity range and i have to check continuity over here on the output wires continuity should not be there as you can listen the beep and you can see the zero reading while testing i'm getting zero reading over here it means that something is short in the secondary and the secondary if we will see there is a cable these are the capacitors these can be shorted these diodes can be shorted or uh, this capacity this cable can go short circuited so if we are removing this cable one end so let us see if the short is still present or not after removing this cable let me check so i removed this cable and now again I'm checking so still problem is there and the cable have no short circuit but problem is there on the board so let us see so now I'm attacking on the diodes if I will remove these diodes one one after another I will remove all three diodes there, there are three diodes you can see so uh, first of all i will remove this one second this one third this one any of the diode if, if it is going short circuited or all of the diodes are going short circuited we will experience a short over here so let me remove one by one all diodes So this diode I removed from, now I am going to test it, so the first diode is telling short, short, zero reading 
and a beep it means that this is short circuited now i'm going to remove this as i removed it from the circuit and i'm going to check once again my circuit if short is there or not so short is not no more present here if i will check on the diodes i'm not getting a short as you can see reading is there but short is not there so let me connect this circuit to the power again and we will check the voltage with the diode removed i'm going to check the voltage because two diodes are still there so it can give me voltages if it is repaired so you can see 5 volt reading now if i will reverse the probes i will get a proper reading without minus so let me see 5.09 5.09 volt reading i am getting so this way i repaired my power supply by removing one culprit diode from so this diode, this power supply switching power supply is now repaired and it is giving voltage and now it is in good state and the culprit was this diode so i removed this diode from and uh, this had brought my power supply to life so if you like this video give a big thumbs up subscribe on my channel press on the bell icon and press on all so then you will get notification on each upload i will uh, solder one other diode one good diode over here and i will uh, fix this power supply in the covering and that's all thank you for watching